Hello everyone, this is my flight review of Qatar Airways Business Class from Doha to Washington DC. Since this is a flight review instead of a flight report, I will be sharing my impressions and opinions. I will be rating five categories, the aircraft, flight attendants and service, seat, meals, and the in-flight entertainment system on a scale of one to five stars. Here you can see the items I rate for each category. The final score is an average of the ratings of each item. At the end of this video, you will be able to see how the scores break down. Click on the link above if you'd like to learn more about my flight review rating methodology. Unfortunately, I was unable to visit the Qatar Business Class Lounge because I was coming from Dubai and had a very short connection. Flights to the United States require a secondary security screening prior to entering the gate waiting room. There is an exclusive jet bridge for business class passengers. My seat number was 3K. Odd numbered window seats are rear facing but offer extra privacy because they are away from the aisle. The A350 is my favorite airplane. Compared to others, it is quieter and the cabin air has higher pressure and humidity levels. These factors contribute to a much more pleasant flight. I rate the aircraft and cabin 5 out of 5 stars. Now enjoy the sights and sounds of the takeoff. Let's take a look at the amenity kit. I found the amenity kit very basic for such a luxurious airline and business class product. But the pajamas are a nice touch for a long flight. Take a look at Carter's in-flight video showing the Q-Suite features.
I agree with most reviewers, the Q Suites are the best business class seats in the skies. I was a bit concerned about being in the rear facing seat, however, it was not unpleasant as a similar experience on a train can be. As I said in the beginning of this video, the rear facing seats offer more privacy because they are away from the aisle. I rate the seat 4.8 out of 5 stars. The seat would get a perfect score if there were more storage options and if the bed were a bit more comfortable. The middle seats can be configured to accommodate groups of four or couples. Now, let's take a look at the menu. The flight was close to American Thanksgiving, so Carter added a few items associated with the holiday. Dinner service began with warm nuts. For the main course, I chose the grilled ribeye. It was delicious. Due to the Thanksgiving menu, many of the dishes, including the dessert, had pumpkin elements. Earlier on the flight, I told the flight attendant that I was not a fan of pumpkin. So for the dessert, she offered me a chocolate mousse, even though it was not on the menu. The flight attendants were extremely attentive and nice. I rate flight attendant and service 4.8 stars. I include the amenity kit in this category. That is why it did not get a maximum rating. The lavatory was large and always clean. I was wondering why there was no toothbrush and toothpaste in the amenity kit. You can find them here.
the seat turns into a completely flat bed. I was able to get several hours of sleep. The in-flight entertainment screen was large and high definition. It offered many movies and TV shows, however, there were not many new releases. For that reason, I rated 4.8 stars. The exterior camera view is a cool feature. Breakfast was served 90 minutes before landing. There were several options for snacks during the flight. Since I had a full dinner and slept for several hours, I did not try any of them. There is an espresso machine on board. You can order a cappuccino, latte and more. Like the dinner, the breakfast was delicious. Everything about the meals was perfect, including the options, portions, and presentation. I rate the meals 5 stars. Unfortunately, all great things must come to an end. Let's take one last look at my Q suite before I go over my final scores. Let's review my scores. Aircraft and cabin, 5 stars. Meals, 5 stars. Seat, 4.8 stars. Flight attendant and service, 4.8 stars. In-flight entertainment, 4.8 stars. Giving us a final score of a near-perfect flight, 4.9 stars. Cutter's Q-suites really are amazing. I hope I get to experience them again in the near future. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.